and another movie to do. So we got 1997's Alien Resurrection. This also includes the 2003 re-release special edition as well. Now, I do an Alien Quadrilogy, but this disc in particular in the Quadrilogy would not play the special edition. Like, it would get 40, exactly 43 minutes in and freeze. It, it just, it wouldn't play. It would skip through parts of it. Even though the disc was completely clean, it wouldn't play. So, I, got, I bought the Blu-ray for 10 bucks, so... I was happy about that. That's what the disc looks like. No reversible cover. And then the special features are commentaries, isolated score, deleted, and extended scenes. So, I do like this movie. It's, it's good. I know a lot of people weren't too keen on it, like Alien 3. Um... I mean, I enjoyed it. I enjoy the special edition more because there's everything added in. And it's... It's decent. It's a solid 7.5 seven to a 7.8 out of 10 for me. Like, it's good, but, like, not... Uh, what's the word I want? Not spectacular. Like, if you were to measure everything in the Aliens quadrilogy alone, just the first four, um, Alien and Aliens are the best ones. These two are, like, scraps. But this one does have its merit. Like, it's really good. Some people were off-put by the, uh, alien baby that killed the queen. Spoiler. Um... A lot of people didn't like how the premise for it and everything else involved. But it's good. The Blu-ray transfer for it actually looks really good. It actually brings that uh, dark-toned 97 aesthetic to uh, to the to Blu-ray pretty good. And when I say dark-toned, I mean like the picture here is dark-toned. So, you know, the film is dark-toned in its own way. But the picture, picture quality, that's what I'm talking about. It carries that with it, and it looks good. Um, let me see. The cast was phenomenal. I like them. They were funny. Uh, Elgin, is that right? Yeah. Elgin was funny. Uh... Ron Perlman was good. I actually thought um, there was a blooper in this when I first watched it. Because uh, Ron Perlman threw a knife down on the uh, crippled dude. And it landed in his leg. And he, I thought, he grabbed the knife out of his leg and threw it back up at him. So I had to... <laughs> So I'm sitting there, I watched it, I watched that scene like four times. And the fourth time I had it slowed down to like an eighth speed and watched it as it played. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah, the knife is still in his thigh. He grabs a tool and throws it up at him. Because I thought what they did was they spliced in the scene by a mistake. And I was like, oh man, I got something that's a gem. But nope, just, you know, my eyes playing tricks on me. Um, what else? Sigourney Weaver was good in this again. Uh, I like that the premise for this is that she's a clone of the original Ripley. And, you know, so it, you get a clone's perspective on, you know, how she feels for the most part. Um... The Xenomorphs are a lot smarter in this. Uh, well, I mean, they've always been smart, but they're smarter, is what I'm saying. Uh, what else? I'm trying to think. Like, I watched it just the other night, so there's a lot to digest and remember from it. Uh, Winona Ryder was really good. Uh, 
I still can't believe how much stuff was cut out, though, and then they put it all back in. I'm like, man, they cut out a lot of stuff. And I hate that. Because most of the stuff gets cut out for time, which is dumb. It's like, I want to sit there. Like, most of us who like a long film want to sit there and enjoy the entire thing. While there's those of us who have a short attention span and want to leave. <laughs> Oh, that's one. Whew, that's better. So, let me see. What didn't I like about the movie? I've been asking myself that a lot lately about what I don't like about films. And there's things I do like and don't like. This one, I don't like... Um, how there wasn't a lot of background. My main issue is always background. Like, background stories and all that shit. Uh, and whatnot. Like, that, that shit does bother me. Um. Oh, yeah, that, the black dude. What was his name? I forget. <laughs> his, sa his sacrifice was so, it was pointless. Honestly, it was kind of pointless. <laughs> like, you could have made it, dude. You only got burned in the eye. <laughs> and also that that like even that kind of bugs me now looking back at it like he got sprayed with acid in the eye that should have eaten his face away a little more and killed him but no it didn't kill him fully so that's kind of a letdown <laughs> uh what else i think that was about it like, I really did enjoy it. Like, they really made this a very unique film. It's highly unique, and it's really good. But it's not spectacular, you know? It's it's good for, like, you know, a random watch when you're in the mood for it. Or if you've never seen it before, you can watch it, you know, whatever. You can check your library for it and all that good shit. Um, let me see. Would I recommend to you and friends? Eh, it's your choice. If you don't like Sigourney Weaver and you don't like the Alien series or saga, you know, don't watch it. If you do, check this out. Um, if you aren't a fan of aliens in general, just, you know, alien life forms and shit, the same for you. If you like sci-fi horror, definitely check this out. If you don't, it's okay, too. Um, hmm, let me see. If you don't like the cast in this movie, then, you know, that's okay. I understand. Not everybody's a fan. Uh, if you don't like a quadrilogy film series, same for you. Uh, I think that's it. That's all I can think of. But, eh, I mean, you can check this out. It's, to me, I think it's aged pretty well, give or take. I mean, everybody's got their own opinion on it. This is just mine. <laughs> and my opinions always change or they expand over the years. So, what I say now might change down the road or I might have something else to add. Um... I love how, the one thing I do love about this is how they took the approach to, uh, sexuality in this. Like, there was no, there wasn't any fucking in it. It was just, you know, a sensual massage and, uh, fake boob shots and shit from Sigourney. That was about it. What do you mean they're fake? Like, <laughs> like yeah, they were fake, dude. It was a fucking prosthetic setup. <sighs> Uh, um, but yeah, like, there wasn't, like, any, it wasn't hard, there wasn't, like, no sexuality in this, aside from, it was just sensuality, it was more focused on the violence and the suspense versus sexuality and shit, so, that was nice, change of pace, like, T2, T2 had, uh, zero sexuality to it, but, just non-stop ass-kicking all the way through. 
So, yeah, that's about what I got. So, if you like this, check it out. If you don't, that's cool. So, I'll be back later. Stay tuned.